the biggest sporting event currently taking place is the Women's World Cup. And it's been a very, very good week for Africa. Yes. Yeah. Uh, first up, uh, the, Super Ego, the, the Super Falcons through to the round of 16. Fantastic. And then Banyana Banyana did the thing versus Italy. Yeah. Fantastic. And then Morocco capped it off fantastic all through to the round of 16 however the story that has dominated this world cup has been of trials and tribulations yes let us start africa before we go to further afield mm -hmm. Ay, nigeria you know they had drama upon drama upon drama uh, why are we surprised i'm not nigeria <laughs> had nigeria no even by their standards this was big <laughs> yeah because they they the coach the current coach is very outspoken mm. and they first of all they removed his assistant and then he gave out this interview on a podcast where he basically lambasted everyone and apparently for a few days when he was down under he, he never unpacked because he knew he was going to get kicked out of the team and a good friend of mine did that story uh colin colin udo yes i know he did, colin he did that story on espn and he was like listen it was bad. It, it took one of the one of the top ladies, female administrators who, who have who have interest in the sport, to go in and use all government, everything she could find in government, for the guy to stay on as coach. Otherwise, they were kicking him out because they were like, ah, Kwenda Uko. And him, he was like, no. It's why? Why? Not. What happened? What did he say? Big. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to let me look for the link. Okay. Uh, but basically, he spoke about all their problems. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He did. He he said everything. He, he said, "Ah, no, no, no." He had no, the no. dirty laundry and ironed it. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, his, his name is uh, Randy Waldrum. Uh, he was one board member away from being fired. Okay. Mm -hmm. He did an, an explosive interview with On the Whistle podcast in which he laid into his employers, the American coach, and you had a stinging rebuke from the federation with its spokesman, labeling him an incompetent loudmouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like basically, it, it's it's been a complete switch, yes. But he's had to 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 struggle because he they, they wanted a coach who was foreign first of all because they wanted because Nigeria always plays well but yeah. they don't defend always too well so they got him. And and he started badly. It was a bit of a struggle and then Ukumusha sasa the problems became too much. But Akaenda, he stayed. You see, he left his bag. He arrived in Australia but left his bags unpacked for nearly a week, expecting to fly back. Then Typical some Nigeria lady, I'm looking see. for the lady, Aisha, for, Aisha Falode, former head of Nigeria Women's League and a member of NFF, NFF board. She used a huge chunk of her political capital to pull strings in government to save his job. Yeah. Typical Nigeria, as, as Bernard said earlier. Uh, I, yes, I agree with you. This was extreme, but also nothing surprising. There always a circus uh, surrounding a Nigeria, <laughs> a Ghana, a Senegal. Aya. But not circus around Morocco and Tunisia. Aya. Now, there's uh, circus surrounding Banyana Banyana. Mm. Banyana Banyana were arguing about allowances and bonuses yes. that they had a friendly match. Mm, they refused to go for the game. They did not go to the game. It was against Zambia. Yes. Bo mm. Zambia or Botswana. 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 Before, yeah, before the World Cup. Before the World Cup, yeah, the World they, Cup they, they refused to board the play. Well, you send your players who can't street in the game. Yes. And uh, FIFA, true to form, have decided Pesa to make a county of Chizaji. All the bonuses payable to the players. Itenda kwa account ya mchezaji. Uh, not surprising. Kwa sababu hiyo pesa kusema ule ukweli. Kusemesha ukweli in the mm, words of Eli. Eli kalekwa. <laughs> Eli kalekwa. <laughs> Aitafika. Aitafika. Yeah. Mutasikia tu issues, 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 issues. Man, Africa uh, football administrators, we just need to style up. We just, the, 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 the game is growing. Look, at le, a by, the way, by the way, by the way, please stop saying Africans. Just the Africa. Just the administrators. You know why? Hmm. Bernard can tell you about Jamaica. Now you're talking about Af Jamaica. First Caribbean country to get to the knockout stages over any FIFA tournament since 1938. Any. Ask him how they got there. Because, because of Bob Marley's <laughs> yes. daughter. Like they need, they crowdfunded. Proper. They crowdfunded. I'm going to give a very controversial and, statement. And Bob Marley's, Bob Marley's family, the daughter especially, yeah. has a very big interest in football. So she has also Use put in a huge... Well. Yes. Yeah. To get them going. I'm going to put out a very controversial uh, statement. Please don't switch off my mic. Uh -huh. uh, I have a who told me, David, you uh, you when you the know. president There has to be something about, guys, we need to style it. And this is why 
I was trying to explain wh- why we need to style up. Yes. Football and sports is growing at a big <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, I don't know why yeah, you're yeah, yeah, I thought I was going to boost your mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a time na 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 so we just need to tell look if it gets to that point where fifa can't trust any african administrator yeah. to receive funds and just give the simplest job yeah. because it apotea hapa katika no na toka na kitu ukikufika round of 16 of unapata 60000 mm-hmm. 60000 dollars each year that, that, that's, that's going good to change. money and 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 uh, remember because most of us might have forgotten kenya was one place to qualify yeah. for the afcon yes b- before we were banned by fifa kandika barua so 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 Zambia. so 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 <laughs> and it, Wanasema is not the first time he has yeah, been he's like a repeat this. offender. Now the Zambian F- 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 mm. our <laughs> is just like it's just Africa me is Jewish. And then Zambia Zambia na fe wakasema no no no. Wanasema no, no. uh, it's wapi. Kuna <laughs> <laughs> cameras. Kuna <laughs> 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 cameras kwa training. Kuna cameras kwa training. Kuna FIFA cameras kwa training. Nani aliona? So you see I suspect highly possible this happened. Yes. And maybe whoever reported reported in confidence. And that is why FIFA said, you know what, we are going to follow this yes. up directly. And, and they made it public so that they just tell, we, we tell them, whoever, if you thought this thing was going to be why, wished away because that time we a tournament at Fort Lee, it will be wished away because there's still action. Mm. Oh, people will forget about it. No. Tinani <laughs> Eliona. Tinani Eliona. And, and, and I'm sure, I, I, I can imagine why it was reported to FIFA and not the Zambia Yep. Yeah. I because it would have been swept under the carpet. Swept under the carpet and you're left out of the team. Yeah. All together. In Akwayani, you say, when you're a victim. Those stories in Kenya, I know them. There are very many. I know you them. In the, the, the Starlight yeah, team, yeah. I know them. There are many. Those stories are terrible. In the Kenya, this Kenya, the Starlight team, yeah. forget mm. the current one. Mm. Yeah. A few years ago. A few years ago, there was a yeah, big, yeah, yeah. big, big, bad, big man. scandal, which was just swept under the carpet. They were bad. I know players. I These have been told in confidence. Um, to an, uh, in a bid to mm. it's terrible yeah. so bad. You know, it's terrible it's bad anyway it's so unfair it should not happen i i think i think it's we people should respect each other we should respect the ladies they're doing a wonderful job yeah. our african administrators have been terrible uh whether it's nigeria whether it's south africa whether it's, like, it's jamaica you know, the thing, you know the thing is how i think about it and I, th- I wish this would change you just have to be ruthless in it because you just mentioned that i don't know if you we will talk about it maybe mm. towards the end of the show you'll decide about athletics, a certain athlete, athlete from uh, our neighbors here. The yeah. one who went and uh, set the slowest time ever in a championship. We will talk about uh, that. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk it's about just another story. African thing. Yes. It's like we, we like setting, our, se- setting ourselves up for failure. It's like mm-hmm. always African athletes, sportsmen, women are playing with their hands. We start playing with our hands behind our back. Mm. One hand behind the back, rather. Uh, always mm. yes like you 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 are handicapped from the start exactly. because of something that is obvious that should be done like we shouldn't be a, and here's the thing there's been a huge fight about bonuses with all female t- almost all of them at the world cup yes even england are having issues the us are having issues canada didn't even have money because canadian fa's broke there's just been issues around the women's food mm-hmm. especially about, but i think part of the reason all these arguments about bonuses are coming is because of that fifa thing mm. of tunape allowance straight kwa yeah. player uh, yeah. so i think federation in askia lafsa bado mnataka bonus kutoka kwetu i think so. i think that is why mm. because it's it's just every team even england when you hear england are having issues with bonuses you're like eh uh-huh. so yeah yeah I get eh, there, there is a problem anyway let's talk about the good side of it all three african teams for the first time in any world cup mm. male or female uh Africa, yeah. three african That's teams are yeah. through mm. And and the gods of uh, of of the draw were very uh, were okay. having a laugh. Mm. They decided to set up all these games that just are full of history. So South Africa, Netherlands, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> colonizer na colony. Yes. Uh, England, England na- Nigeria. Same thing. Mm. Morocco, France. Ooh. Uh, very nice. That, that is I so like juicy, it. yeah. Huh? It's going to be a juicy, juicy. Very nice. Mm. And then also.